everyone and welcome to another video by me, Febri. Now as you can see in today's video, I actually made a strawberry house. And it looks so cute from the top. I'm really proud of it. I think it looks awesome. But before I give you guys a little tour of what it looks like, I am going to show you guys a speed build. And hopefully by the end of the speed build, it should be morning. Because at the moment it's 4am, so I'm hoping that it should be light and bright and we can actually see the strawberry. And it's full daytime action. So enjoy the speed build if you guys do want to recreate it. And I'll see you guys after. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders. I'm close. What I told you soon enough, everything started to change. Cause there's no going back, no going back, there's no going back to your own life. Not living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Remember the colors, they were wrong It was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside It's alright, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. Feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high.
is the sun is now rising which is great so hopefully it's bringing some light look at it it looks like a shiny strawberry house how cute is that so this is what my house looks like it's a strawberry house you guys have just seen how i made it i can also tell you how much it costs around so house value is 130,000. i don't know why i always make it so much probably because i oh i did add some of the new furniture in there so that might be why it's a little bit more expensive but let me just show you guys outside first but this is a strawberry as you can see because it's a house i wanted to add windows instead of adding lights for it to look like the pips so i added yellow windows so it looks like the seeds and then, oh, I've got these like trees going around. But I think that like, these one day could be the strawberry's neighbors. So this could be a strawberry house growing itself someday. And yeah, so hopefully this strawberry house can get some neighbors at some point. Yeah, that is basically all. And on the top view, look how cute this is. Look, you can see all the lights. But if I turn it here, this light right here looks like a little love heart. How cute is that? It's so cute. Oh, and also, look, I'm dressed as a strawberry. It's like the outfit they have in Royal High. But it's such a cute outfit. I might just wear this all the time now. Because I mean that it's adorable, I'm a strawberry. I think it's such a cute outfit. But anyway, now let's head inside. Oh, I have like little bath mats leading up to it and some plants and flowers, which I think makes it extra cute. So let's now head inside. But as you can see, when you head inside, it is proper strawberry-like. Strawberry everywhere. The color's still red. There's yellow. That's the only theme there is, just red and yellow, really. Because we obviously, we're living inside of a strawberry. I wanted to make it kind of realistic, even though it is not realistic at all to live inside a strawberry. But, yeah, this is what it looks like around. I have... I haven't really decorated it as much. I just have, like, some bookshelves up here. A little welcome sign. I have the front room living area. And then over here would be the kitchen. Oh, this is where most of my money went, actually. Because, look, this is, like, all of the new stuff. I've got a fryer, the new fridge, the counters. So, yeah. Excuse me, I am at work. The work thing always comes up when I'm recording. I think it just wants a bit of attention, that work sign. But yeah, so later on, I feel like because I live in a strawberry house, I'm going to be doing lots of baking. So, I'm going to be making it some lovely desserts later. Let me just show you guys the rest of it in here. It's just a normal bathroom. Even, I wish I could make the toilet paper red as well, but apparently you cannot. But yeah, I guess a simple bathroom, so if I have any strawberries over, they can also shower and keep clean. Because like people said, you always have to clean fruit, okay? You always have to wash them. To be fair, I never used to wash fruit when I used to eat them. And my nan used to always tell me to quickly wash them. Yeah, and then in here, I just have my little ensuite area, so my own private bathroom, which is also in my bedroom. And uh, my bedroom looks extra cozy. I can see I've already had a nap in there. Let me just quickly make my bed. I'm so sorry. How rude of me. Alright, but there you go. That is my bedroom. And then I think I've shown you guys, oh, I haven't shown you guys the dining room. So once I make all of my lovely cakes and desserts, I can then head upstairs in here and then invite my berries over and enjoy delicious berry cakes with them. Which I don't know if they'd actually eat the berry cakes because would it be like they're eating themselves? I'm not sure, but oh well. Oh, and also let me show you guys the downstairs. This part's actually really cool. Look, I've made like the basement area into kind of like the heart of the strawberry. Because you know how like with humans, humans have hearts and brains. That's what keeps us living. But with plants, obviously they have roots. So I place roots around here. And yeah, just because obviously it's a berry house and they need to have their roots and they have plants and I've got like little water um, fountains kind of like spraying over to make sure it's always hydrated and healthy. Yeah, I think this area is really cool. So obviously I'll come down here, probably part of my routine just to make sure the plants are always hydrated and they're healthy because this is what keeps my house nice and fresh. Right, let's head upstairs. Oh, and also the garden area is super cute. Look at the garden area. Look. This is what I've created for. I've created a berry picking area, which I think is really, really adorable. So we can come out here. I have some trees around. And I've placed some mushrooms around, but I kind of want it to look like as though the berries have dropped onto the floor. So that's what I've placed them as. And then I've got the little picnic baskets around so I can place the berries inside. But I think that's super adorable and cute. And yeah, I really like it. I love the outside of the berry house. I think it does look like a strawberry on top. I'm feeling a bit peckish now, so I'm actually going to make some delicious dessert. <gasps> blueberry muffins, it's even got berry in it. Okay, let's make some blueberry muffins. First of all, we need to stir these. I feel like this is what I would use. If I was living in a strawberry house, I feel like it'd be like my little baking house. I think that's just what I would do in here. Right now, let's bake these. What's this for? Is this like a fryer? This is just for a show. As I'm making blueberry muffins right now, I'm actually eating some raspberries. I think raspberries are actually my favourite fruit, which is why they're the logo of mine as well. So, I'm just more of a strawberry and I'm more of a raspberry. I'm checking, is it ready? 
Nope, still got wait, oh, wait, 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 I think it's ready. I'm just looking again. Oh, it was not. I did a double check then, just making sure. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Yum. Come on, give me the muffins, please. <gasps> They're finished. You don't have to do anything with them. That's so awesome about muffins. I thought you'd have to, like, I don't know, like, put icing on there, but I guess you don't. Let's place this in our lovely little glass case. <gasps> Look at that. It fits perfectly in there. I wish I could change the colour so it looked a bit more red, but that looks so cute. Also, I think this is perfect. I added it in my coffee shop the other day. I think it looks awesome in there. Excuse me. Give me a muffin. Thank you. Oh my gosh, delish. I even eat the wrapper. That's how good it is. But yeah, that is basically it for my berry house, guys. I hope you guys like it. It's pretty simple, but it's something that I've been wanting to make for a while. And I'm happy that I've made it. And it does it like a little strawberry house. And I just think it's super adorable. And it's a perfect little house for us berries to live in. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.